isang matusay na araw sa ating lahat. Welcome back sa Matusay General Math Tutorial. Sa video ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano sinosolve ang intercepts at zeros of rational function. Let's start! Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng intercepts of a rational function? So, i-consider natin itong graph na ito. Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung graph natin ay nag-cross sa ating x-axis at nag-cross din siya sa ating y-axis. Ang tawag sa mga points na ito ay intercepts. So, ang intercepts are x or y coordinates of the points at which a graph crosses the x-axis or y-axis respectively. So, sa graph na ito, nakikita natin na nag-cross siya sa ating x-axis. So, ang tawag sa point na ito ay x-intercept. Samantalang, ang point na ito, itong red one, ay y-intercept. Kasi nag-cross siya or nag-intersect siya sa ating y-axis. Para mahanap ang y-intercept, kailangan lang nating ilet ang x equal to 0. To find for the x-intercept, we have to let y equals 0. So mamaya, may ituturo akong technique kung paano natin mas madaling makompute ang x and y-intercepts. Ano naman ang zeros of the rational function? Now, consider this fraction n over d, where d must not be equal to 0 kasi magiging undefined yan. Kapag naging 0 ang ating numerator, whatever the value of the denominator will be, automatic magiging 0 ang ating fraction. So, halimbawa nito ay ang 0 over 7. Kahit pa yan 7 ang ating denominator, automatic 0 yan. 0 over 15 or 0 over 39 and so on. Kahit ano pa yung numbers natin sa denominator, basta ang numerator natin ay 0, ay automatic magiging 0 ito. How do we solve for the zeros of rational function? May mga steps tayong susundin. Una, you have to factor out the numerator and the denominator if possible. So kung pwedeng i-factor out, i-factor out natin. Now, Identify the restrictions of the rational function. Ito ay tumutukoy sa ating denominator, di ba? Yung vertical asymptote natin. Titignan natin yung ating domain, yung restriction nun. And third step is identify the values of the x that makes the numerator equal to 0. So, i-equate natin equal to 0 ang ating numerator. And then, the zeros of the rational function are the values of x that makes the numerator 0 but are not restrictions of the rational function. So, ang zeros of rational function ay yung value ng x sa numerator na magiging 0 yung numerator natin pero hindi siya restriction ng ating domain or ng restriction ng ating denominator. So, Para mas mapabilis ang pag-solve ng zeros of rational function, pag na-solve na natin ang x-intercept, titignan lang natin yung x-intercept natin kung restriction ba siya ng denominator or not. So, para mas maintindihan, let's have this example. Number 1. Determine the intercepts and zeros of each rational function. f of x is equal to x plus 8 all over x minus 2. So again, to get the y-intercept, ang ilalet natin ang x equals 0. So in this case, f of 0 is equal to 0 plus 8 all over 0 minus 2. So again, lahat ng may variable x dyan, kailangan natin palitan ng 0. So in this case, we have positive 8 over negative 2. So, para mas mabilis natin hanapin si y-intercept, mas mainam na kunin na lang natin agad yung mga constant term sa numerator at denominator. So, 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. 
So, ibig sabihin, magko-cross yung graph natin sa point sa y-intercept natin at y equals negative 4. Ang x-intercept naman, kaya nang sinabi ko kanina, ilalet natin ang y equals 0. So, 0 is equal to x plus 8 all over x minus 2. So, mag-cross multiply tayo, we will have 0 equals x plus 8. So, kapag kukuha tayo ng x-intercept ng rational function, ang kukunin na lang natin automatic ay yung ating numerator. Kasi kapag mag-cross multiply tayo, automatic 0 na yun. So, kunin na lang natin ang numerator, equate it equal to 0. Now, this time, solving for x, yung x-intercept natin will be negative 8. Claro. How about the zeros of the rational function? Again, gaya ng sinabi ko, mas mabilis nating hanapin ang zeros of the rational function kung meron tayong x-intercept. So, ang x-intercept natin is x equals negative 8. Ang tanong, is negative 8, there is a restriction ng ating denominator? Magiging 0 ba ang ating denominator? No. So, in this case, ang ating zeros of the rational function will be x is equal to negative 8. Example number 2. f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared minus 2x plus 3. So, kukunin natin ang intercepts and zeros nitong rational function. So, to solve for the y-intercept, again, mas mabilis kung kukunin na lang natin agad yung constant term. So, ang constant term natin ay 6 over 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is... So, ibig sabihin, ang y-intercept natin is 2. Kaya ako kinuha na lang agad yung mga constant term dahil lahat ng may variable x ay automatic 0. Claro. Kaya y is equal to 2. So, how about the x-intercept? So, again, much better kung kukunin na lang natin agad ang numerator. So, ang Numerator natin ay x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So, factoring this out. So, ang factor nito ay x minus 2 times x minus 3. So, solving for x, we have x is equal to 2. Ang isa naman ay x equals 3. So, ito yung ating x-intercepts. Claro. This time, paano naman natin kukunin ang zeros of the rational function. So, ngayon, dahil may x-intercept na tayo, isa-substitute natin itong mga values na ito sa ating denominator. Titingnan natin kung ito ba ay mga restriction or not. So, kapag isa-substitute natin ang 2 sa denominator, we have 2 squared, that's 4, minus 4, plus 3, that's 3. So, ibig sabihin, hindi naging 0 ang denominator. How about kung 3 naman ang ating sinabstitute. So, 3 squared, that's 9, minus 6, that's positive 3, plus 3 is still positive 6, hindi naging 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang zeros of the rational function will be x equals 2 and x equals 3. Mas mabilis ito. Let's take example number 3 f of x is equal to x squared minus x minus 6 all over x minus 3. So, kukunin na natin ang x and y intercepts. So, ang y intercept, again, we let x equals 0. So, kapag nilet natin ang x, lahat ng variable x equals 0, ang naiiwan na lang ay yung ating mga constant terms. So, mas mabuti na mas Para mas mabilis natin makuha ang y-intercept, kunin na lang natin agad yung ating mga constant terms sa numerator at denominator. So, in this case, we have negative 6 over negative 3. So, dividing negative 6 by negative 3, your y-intercept will be positive 2. Paano naman natin kukunin ang x-intercept? So, ang x-intercept natin, again, we let y equals 0. 
So, kapag naging 0 na yung y, ang may iwan na lang ay yung ating numerator. Kaya, kung magsasolve tayo ng x-intercept, mas mabilis kung kukunin natin agad yung numerator. So, we have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. So, we have to factor out x squared minus x minus 6. At ang factor nito ay x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. Now, solving for x, x will be equal to 3 and x will be equal to negative 3. So, these are your x-intercepts. How about ang zeros of the rational function? So, dahil nakapag-solve na tayo ng x-intercept, mas mabilis kung itetest na lang natin yung ating mga x-intercept sa ating denominator kung magiging zero ba ito or not. Kasi kapag naging zero yon hindi siya zeros of the rational function. ba So, let's test x equals negative 2. Kapag itetest natin ang x equals negative 2 na ating x-intercept, isa-substitute natin sa ating denominator, hindi magiging 0 ang denominator. So, ibig sabihin, zeros of the rational function siya. How about, kapag isa-substitute natin ang x-intercept na 3, mapapansin natin na ang denominator ay magiging 0 kasi 3 minus 3 is 0, right? So, hindi siya zeros of the rational function. So, ang zeros of the rational function will be x is equal to negative 2 na lang. So, kaya, ang mas mainam na gawin kapag nagsusolve tayo ng zeros of rational function, pwede din naman natin siyang i-factor out gaya ng pinresent ko kanina. I-factor out mo, identify yung restriction sa denominator, tapos, hahanapin na natin yung ating values ng x sa numerator and then yung ating zeros of rational function provided hindi siya restriction ng denominator pero mas mabilis hanapin ang zeros of rational function kapag meron na tayong x intercept tapos isa substitute na lang natin sa denominator kapag hin kapag naging zero siya ibig sabihin hindi siya zeros of rational function Kapag naintindihan mo na ang proseso sa pagkuha ng intercepts and zeros of rational function, subukan ang mga exercises na ito. If you're done, you can type your answers on the comment section. Kung nakatulong ang video ito na mas maintindihan ninyo ang lesson tungkol sa intercept at zeros of the rational function, Give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sikreto para maging mathusay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Abangan ang susunod na episode at matutong mag-graph ng rational function. Bye!